What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Rab My YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Buttcoin with your CPU. And you heard that right. This coin is legitly called Buttcoin. So let's take a look at what exactly is Buttcoin. And there's a little bit of broken English here, so bear with me on that. But first, welcome to Buttcoin. We have a price of 0 0.0041858 USD. And Buttcoin is a decentralized, secure cryptocurrency that is easy to mine, devoid from 51% attack, and it provides easy means of transactions between individuals. It is a multi-algorithm coin. Buttcoin uses a smart node collateral and reward system that prevent hyperinflation. Buttcoin create a means for easy mining as everyone can participate in the mining process. Buttcoin rewards range from 4 butt from block height 329 to 720, where at height 721, it will be 5,000 butt. So it kind of goes up as the block height goes up, which is kind of weird. That's a little backwards. Anyway, uh, this reward structures are all listed in the white paper. I'm not sure what this swap thing is all about because I just started mining this coin this morning myself. Uh, swap of Buttcoin is ongoing. Kindly send your Buttcoin to Xbitron for your old Buttcoin to swap one to one. Closing on Tuesday, 25th, January 22. So I don't know if they swap chains around or what's going on. But here's the interesting part. The list of Buttcoin algorithms. We got SHA-256D. Now I'm not sure what the D part is in here. If any of you guys know what these algorithms are, please let me know in the comments below because I'm not actually sure. But SHA-256 is a Bitcoin algorithm, but this is SHA-256D. Underneath that, we have Lyra 2. Yes Power, Ghost Rider, we're all familiar with that if you've done any Raptorium mining, and Script, and Script is what your Dogecoin, Litecoin, Digibyte type of coins for those AppMiner L3 Pluses do roll on. So those are the five algorithms that can mine Buttcoin. So the purpose of this is we're going to be mining it with our CPU. So we're going to be using the Ghost Rider algorithm in this showcasing on how to mine this and look at some profitability. I've only been mining this for about nine hours or so nine and a half i started at 9 a.m this morning and it is now 6 22 p.m so i'm going to go to z pool this is what i'm using and in the past a uh, few hours or so like i said i'm at 43,591 buck coins i'm going to plug that into the good old calculator so 43,591 43, 591, and we're going to times that by the current price here. Once I do get back to the website, 0 0.0041, 0 0.0041. So I'm going to equal that. That's $178.72 USD. So right away, I'm like, that can't be right. This thing is extremely profitable. And why isn't anyone else really talking about it? I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to for actually using my crypto for real life purchases. With the Crypto.com Visa debit card, it makes it easy to use my mind assets to pay for my power, purchase new GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, hard drives, as well as collect 8% cash back wherever Visa is accepted. If you would like to sell straight to your standard bank account, you can easily request an e-transfer which usually shows up the following day. On top of all that, Crypto.com also offers trading, simplified DeFi, as well as staking to help you increase the revenue on your crypto assets. Join over 10 million plus users buying and selling 250 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost. By using my affiliate link in the description, you will be granted a $25 funding bonus. Or enter code RABID, R-A-B-I-D, at the sign up. And remember, crypto has its risks. Just like everything else, do your own research. So I have to find a legit exchange that does carry Buttcoin. And on their Discord here, Xbitron does have a butt to USD exchange as well as BTC, Doge, and LTC. Now, I always try to look for a USDT pairing because that'll give you like the fiat value of the coin instead of trying to reference Litecoin or Bitcoin or something to that pairing and figure it out for yourself. So they do have a USD pairing here. I'm going to click on that. We're going to load it up, and it popped up Yada for some reason. So we are going to type in but here, but USDC, USDT, 
<laughs> and it does look like 0 0.0000599. So let's plug in the new numbers and check the profitability. So now I found the calculator, the USDT price, and I punched in and I got 26 cents in the last nine hours. That's with all 11 of my rigs. So this actually isn't looking that good. But again, we're looking at 100% spec mining coin here to see how this will prevail. If you want to get a little bag, host your own smart node, this may be something that, you know, might work out for you. So if you click on the downloads in the top right hand corner, it'll bring you to all these downloads here. And I did use the Windows 64 bit installer. Now this is a, your core wallet, just like Raptorium, AVN and other Bitcoin type of based wallets do use. Here I'm loading up my butt core wallet. I don't know, that, that just sounds weird every time I say that. Anything to do with butt coin and you're just trying to pronounce what it is. Here we have the butt core wallet, just kind of funny. So as you can see, it's got to sync with the network. I'm eight hours behind. I'm just gonna hide that. You're gonna go to receive. You're gonna request a payment, put in any label you want, you know, test video. That'll work just fine. Request your payment. And then now you have your address. So anytime you need to go back to it, double click on what you just made, copy your address, and this is your address that you're gonna to mine to. Exact same thing with Raptorium or anything else. So if you have mined Raptorium in the past, you will know XM Rig does support the Ghost Rider algorithm. So here we are utilizing XM Rigs. So you're gonna come into here, Find your config file, edit that out, scroll on down to where you change your parameters. I'm just using one where I used to use for Raptorium, and I just swapped that out. Ghost Rider's already here. If you're doing it from scratch, make sure you put the quotation marks at the end of your algorithm or it will not work. And then you're gonna put in your URL to the pool. So I am using Zpool. I will have this address here for you guys in the description if you wanna try it out. Under user here, you are gonna paste your wallet address dot worker name so mine is rabbit ws this is the worker name i'm going to use but on zpool it doesn't seem to want to work it just comes up with the xm rig version that you are using you can also use cpu miner gr that you know works for raptorium as well it supports this algorithm 100 because again it is ghost rider now one thing about this pool you are going to have to set your passcode or your password here as C equals but K. Again, I will have that in the description. That just tells you using Z pool and that the coin that you want to be paid out in is but coin. Now you can change that if you want and get paid out in Bitcoin or anything else. It kind of works if you're used to Z, uh, Zerg pool, I believe it is. Z pool is doing the same type of thing. Mine any coin you want, get paid out in any coin you want. In this case, I'm getting paid out directly in the coin I'm mining, which is but coin. Once you have those parameters in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure XM rig is set to run as an administrator. So if you can either just right click on it each time like so, right click, run as admin, or what I always like to do is I go to properties, I go to compatibility, hit the check mark for run this program as an admin, okay, and then every time you do run this, it'll automatically ask you to run it as an admin in case you forget to right click it sometime. Before I jump into Hive OS to show you how to do it there, I just wanna show you Zpool dashboard. So in case you wanna do it by yourself, you can come right in here. So region, pick your region. Remember, this is North American. I'm using the North American server. A few of you in the past, you know, were from Europe. You didn't know what to change or what you should use. Your ping were too high. So if you come in straight into the pool here, you can select North America, Europe, South Asian, uh, Southeast Asia, or Japan. So again, I'm North American. I want to pick Buttcoin, or actually our algorithm here is Ghost Rider. So we're going to pick Ghost Rider algorithm. The currency we want is Buttcoin, so B-U-T, so Butt K right there. And then you put your payout address if you want the complete command lines for you. Now all you have to do is copy this stuff in. So here is your server address that you're going to need with the port. Uh, this is your username, so your wallet address. And then your password is C equals Butt because here, this is the payout address that we selected. Now again, you can go up to here and get paid out in Bitcoin if you want. Now you can see C equals BTC. I can be mining Buttcoin, getting paid in Bitcoin. You want Litecoin, swap it out, C equals LTC. Now I'm getting paid in Litecoin, but make sure you have your proper address in to get your payouts on or it's not gonna work. For this very thing I'm showing you guys, we are mining Buttcoin and getting paid out in Buttcoin. So now let's jump into Hive OS. For all you Hive OS fanatics out there, myself being one of them, I do everything I can within Hive OS. I absolutely love it, way better in Windows, and I haven't really tried any of the other operating systems because once you find something you like, why switch? 
Anyway, moving forward, then we're gonna make we're gonna have to make some flight sheets here. So first coin setting up, butt coin. You know what? Rewind. We're gonna have to turn around and we're gonna have to make a wallet. <laughs> so first thing we are gonna have to do here is obviously go to wallets here, add wallet. We're gonna type coin and clicker. We're gonna need butt coin. It is already in here. Another coin in here by default. Add your address in here that you got from your wallet. Name it anything you want, you know, crazy butt coin. So crazy butt coin is what I called it. Then you hit create and it's all good. Now you're gonna go into your workers here, hit to your flight sheet, open up your coin in the tracker, butt K, wallets, mine CPU mining, I did not save that, but whatever you did name it, it'll show up right there. Pool, we're gonna configure that in the miner. We're gonna select our miner, go XM rig and pick XM rig new. Set up minor config. So we're gonna need our algorithm. We need Ghost Rider. G H O. It should pop up. There we go. Wallet template. Just click the first one. Wallet dot worker name. It'll pull all the information needed. Now we're gonna need our actual pool address. Back at the pool here, and we just copy this whole stratum that you got up top here. Copy over. Remember, pick Europe or something if you're from somewhere else, and it'll adjust this accordingly. Go back into Hive OS and copy in. Your pool address, your password, we're going to need that as C equals but K. This is whatever you want to get paid out in. So password is payout, hover over C, hover over computer or CPU configuration. Make sure you turn on your CPU and everything should be pretty much ready to roll. Apply your angels, your <laughs> angels, apply your changes here and then put in anything you do want create your flight sheet and it's all set. Then once you're ready to go, all you gotta do is pick a worker. I'm gonna open up a worker here, rig one. The flight sheet's already engaged, but if they wanted to turn on baby coin, I'm gonna hit the rocket ship, ready to roll. You do the same thing that you just made for buck coin and you should now be mining buck coin 100%. So one last thing here, quick wrap up and sum up. On the rest of their links here, they do say host masternoid where Previously, they said smart nodes, so they are a little bit different. So I don't know what's going on, but if you guys want to try out this coin, give it a shot. If you don't want to, then, you know, who cares? Doesn't matter, but it's up to you. 100% spec mining yet again. Could the coin do something? It may. It may not. It's all up to you. If you want to get a little bag, save it for later on. By all means, give it a shot. I'm getting myself a little bag here, so we'll see what happens in the future. But thank you for watching this video. Hope you're up and mining buck coin now, and I'll see you on the next one rabbit out thank you for watching my video and if you haven't seen one of these be sure to check them out and if you already seen them maybe you missed some might have to watch it one more time and if you just let it play in the background that's all right as well i do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week so be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that as always have a great day